hey guys welcome back to my channel and happy new year it's officially january 1st can you guys believe it we made it to 2020 i know so to get the year started out right we're gonna we're here with a new video i'm not 100 percent sure that you're gonna be watching this on the first but it's all right because it's going up anyway right so i figured there's no other way to start off the year by showing you guys all my favorites from the previous year. So this is gonna be a 2019 wrap up, wrap up of all of my favorite things, beauty, fashion, lifestyle. I don't really think I have anything fashion related in here. Um, no, but beauty, lifestyle, whatever, everything else is gonna be in this video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. I came out here fresh faced because I just felt like my skin was glowing. And I feel like you guys never get to see me, at least not on YouTube, with a fresh face. I do a lot of unboxings over on Instagram. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, go do that now. I'll leave the name right here. But I do a lot of unboxings over there, fresh face, because it's a lot more casual. But I feel like, you know what, we're going to start off the year real casual and cute. Like, look at me, I'm glowing. So, we're going to go ahead and start out with lifestyle favorites. Lifestyle favorites, it's really weird for me because you know like what do you classify as lifestyle right and i meant to say welcome to our new humble abode if you guys you guys obviously wouldn't know over here on youtube but i moved out and i got my own apartment so that is a favorite of 2019 that's my very first favorite um you guys could probably tell by the colors of the wall obviously but my setup's a lot different yes i moved out and i'm really happy about it so here we are with that but with lifestyle starting out this video seeing that i moved out things that i didn't really appreciate before i appreciate now so one of my favorites is this hl apothecary linen lavender spray linen so it's a linen spray it's kind of the same concept i guess as febreze but when you make your bed um you spray it like on the sheets and it gives your sheets like a fresh like just washed smell um this one is lavender obviously and this one smells really good it says it's custom blend with essential oils you usually can find it in home goods or tj maxx marshall's this really big bottle is was only 4.99 literally whenever i make the bed i spray the sheets down um the pillows down and just laying in it you're like ah it makes you feel like you're kind of like in a hotel um but i use that mainly when my friend like my sheets aren't fresh out the wash so like you know when you wash all your sheets you put them away they kind of get like a cabinet or like a closet or whatever smell like they just don't smell like the laundry detergent anymore so this kind of refreshes that clean scent my next favorite video my next favorite thing in the video is going to be my amazon alexa um i got her i want to say like midway through the year and she's really changed um my life I feel like she plays music for me, I ask her questions. For example, look at this. Hey Alexa, turn on the light. She turns my lights on. Hey Alexa, turn off the lights. There we go, right? So to me, it just makes my life really easy. Um, she lets me know when my packages are on its way and is delivered. She tells me the weather in the morning. I don't know, I just really like having that um, extra tool in the house my last lifestyle favorite um is going to be my hard wax warmer right here she's purple she's obviously not plugged in right now she just has a cover she has the pan that you put in you just put the beads in here warm it up and wax i um at the beginning of the year i want to say the ending of the previous year i um had this bright idea that i was going to start waxing myself to save money because i wanted to move out and then i kind of fell off of that because honestly waxing yourself is really hard especially like your bikini area i predominantly just wax like my eyebrows my mustache and my underarms now and i go get like a brazilian at a professional because i can't do that for myself um but she has saved me a lot of money to get my armpits waxed it's usually like 45 dollars. so to do it for myself when the beads are like 12 dollars a pack and it lasts me at least i still have beads from when i first bought it so she has really come in handy i wax my own brows um unless i'm going to a special occasion i don't like od on my brows i kind of just clean up the middle 
so that's that but like if i'm getting my brows done because i'm going away or i'm going to the event i'll go get them threaded but for the most part i just clean them up real quick so that i'm not woofing and then go about my day so moving on from lifestyle we're going to start with hair and i have a few hair favorites because in case no one if you guys don't know i went natural um no more relaxers i know you guys see me a lot on here with um like wigs and weaves and stuff and for the last few videos i've had turbans because my natural hair has been in some type of protective style um and some of the products that i'm using because i have extremely coarse hair i have 4c hair i make the joke that i think that my hair is not even 4c it's beyond that but just so you guys get an idea i have extremely thick coarse hair my like every time i've got my hair braided i've been told that it's like my hair is so coarse that it's like it burns your fingertips braiding it because my hair is so coarse and it's super thick and i have extremely dry scalp i have psoriasis on the scalp so i have to wash my hair really often if i'm wearing my natural hair with all that being said i have a shampoo and conditioner that i really enjoyed my sister-in-law actually let me try it because she had it and i it my hair my braid out the next day came out absolutely amazing and i just couldn't i just couldn't let it go so this is the argan magic shine boosting shampoo and the conditioner it comes in this big bottle when i tried it for her i amazoned it um and it was pretty expensive on Amazon. It was like $30 for the two set. Um, and my mom actually found it for me in TJ Maxx. And I want to say it was it was nine and nine for each bottle. So if you have a TJ Maxx or Marshalls and you want to try it, check there first. Um, the shampoo is shine boosting. And then the conditioner is ultra hydrating. And this it's for dry damaged hair. Um, honestly, the issue that I always have is my hair and it's shine. Um so the next day when i took my braid out down i was like my hair was literally as shiny as my skin like it was beyond me how shiny my hair was i was like oh i need to get whatever that was so so the next two favorites um for my hair i actually don't have a physical bottle of anymore because they were finished i threw them out um i threw it out and the second one i had a sample of them and i threw out um, but it was the silicone shampoo. I'm going to insert a picture. I'm going to try to insert a picture right here. I'm pretty sure everyone knows what that, not shampoo, that conditioner is. It's a Dominican conditioner, um, that you can get in any beauty supply store. I've used it a lot on my extensions and I really loved it. I don't think I've ever, and I've used it on my natural hair, but in conjunction with those two products, I feel like it would, like I use it to deep condition really helped. Um, and then after washing my hair, I used the Lotta Body Hair Cream. I'm gonna insert a picture of that here. It, that is very hard to find though, so I can only find it on Amazon. Um, and then I used the Justin's Coconut Oil. And this my sister also gave me. Um, I, I'm not exactly sure where to find it, but I'm pretty sure any coconut oil will work. But those products together work. They literally, my hair, beautiful. When I don't use them, it's really hard. My hair just doesn't look the same. So I kinda, that's kinda like my hair regimen right now um outside of those products i have two more hair products that i have been loving this is the cow's daughter black vanilla moisture and shine four in one combing cream this really is nice if i wash my hair and i'm just like braiding it down to go into my wig this like soothes and softens and it makes my hair really nice to detangle so i've really been loving this this is pretty expensive though i want to say it was 14 dollars um and I'm not, I feel like I got this before I started using all those things. So I love this still, but I don't use it as often if I'm using my other regimen. So, um, I don't know, but I really do still like this. I feel like you need different hair products for different hairstyles. I predominantly only braid down my hair. So maybe if I'm trying something else, this will work even better. But this is really nice if I'm not using those things. Like I'm out of a lot of body, so I've been using this and it still works just as great. And then the last thing that I've been using is the um, African Pride Olive Miracle Anti-Breakage Formula Daily Hydrating Oil Moisturizer. So when my hair is um, like already out of my protective static, if I've taken out my braids or whatever, like I said, my hair gets really dry, especially now that it's winter time in New York. So I'll just put some of this in my hair and it'll like moisturize because my hair is super dry. Like my hair gets really, really dry. Okay, now moving on to skincare. So I've gotten really into my skincare routine this year um, and I've tried out a lot of products when it comes to my skin. 
products are kind of carryover products that I've used before and you guys have probably heard me talk about. So I'm just going to mention some of the things that I've been using that have really helped my skin um, this last year um, that are newer. So the first thing that I've started using that is new, which as you can see, I'm almost out of, it's the Pixi Rose Tonic Toner. So this is just a toner by the brand Pixi. Um, I'm not a very big stickler when it comes to toners, but I really like this one. I used to use Witch Hazel, and I felt like that kind of left my skin feeling really dry afterwards. Um, this one doesn't have that effect, and it's still, like, after, when I wash my face and I use the cotton run, I just love how my skin looks after. Um, especially looking at the cotton run, I'm like, well, damn, I just washed my face with the brush and everything, and all of this was still in there. So I really like this one. The next product that I've really been loving this year, um, and I got into, and it's the only one that I've tried, but I, this year I would love to try out more of them, and it's Essences. Um, this one is just the Pixie Rose Caviar Essence. The name is like completely rubbed off now because it's almost done. And this one is like in a gel serum form. Um, Diana Saldana, actually, I want to say is the one that talked about this, and I ran out and wanted to try it because it's a lot less expensive than buying a toner. Um, an essence in like Sephora because those are all $48 and I wasn't sure how I would like an essence however when I do my skincare routine and I don't use this there's a really big difference in my skin so I I really do enjoy this this one has like little rose flexes in it so it helps like with an extra level of hydration um it rubs into the skin really and it's gel so you can just like rub it in like a moist not like a moisturizer but like a regular serum and it works really well before last year, I had no clue what serums was. I was a typical um, cleanser, moisturizer, tone, and that cle cleanser, toner, moisturizer kind of girl. Didn't do anything else. I'm still really bad at sunscreen. I'm trying to find a really good one. Um, so don't knock me. I know I'm supposed to use sunscreen on my face, but I'm bad at it don't kill me but i've gotten really into serums and the two serums that i've been loving throughout the year and they've actually lasted me the entire year and i still have a lot left um is dd and it's because i'm really bad at doing it every i'm not gonna lie like there's days where i'll do my morning routine and not do my night routine or i'll do my night routine and not my morning purely out of laziness but i'm really good at, i try my best to do it as often as possible like i try to do it every day there might be a few days out of the year that i've skipped don't but you know we all have those days but they're the drunk elephant serums they're both drunk elephant the this one is the c firma day serum and this one is the tlc glycolic night serum so this one i use during my daytime routine and this one i use at night obviously because it's a glycolic serum so it's like a chemical exfoliant i really love these these are very expensive though um but they have made a huge difference in my skin if you're looking at my skin right now and you're like damn she's glowing these are some of the like i have like this helps get rid of a lot of the texture in my skin that has been forming as i've been getting older because i realized i'm getting a little mm, mm, now i'm like it but yes like this has been helping a lot with that and um they i want to say this one was 98 and this one was like 120 I am not 100% sure because I'm a woman that has a friend everywhere that has a connect. So I got these with a friend's discount. However, they are still very expensive. The next thing that I've been loving, it was a recommendation from my friend Tiffany. And it's a facial scrub, but you can also use it as a mask. And it's by Minimal Glow. It just looks like this. And it's a turmeric skin brightening facial scrub you have to be very careful because this will stay in your hands because of the turmeric in it so i have a brush that i use but when my skin is acting really wild i put it on really quick let it sit scrub it in and wash it off and my skin looks brand new i don't know what is it what it is but it is like a miracle work i just leave it on and i'm like okay work your magic and then boom my skin looks amazing all over again so that's that has been like the only scrub that I've been using on my face for the entire year. It's really great. You can find it on Amazon. You can buy it on the actual minimal website, which I'll link down below. But I bought it on Amazon. It was a, like a little bit, it was pretty much cheaper because I have Prime, so I didn't have to pay for the shipping. But that's that. The next two skincare products is going to be on the moisture side. This is the Caprice Antioxidant Dew. Um, and this is just a quench and glycerin. I got this a little late in the year, but it has actually made a really big difference. Um, it's just a serum. You know, if you use serums, you know what a serum is. And I put it on, but the, I use this during my daytime routine because I don't need... I mean, I put it on my nighttime routine too, but I really use it during my daytime routine for the 
glow portion i put it in my nighttime routine because of the crunch portion um because my skin just like my hair can get really dry in the winter time this is really nice it's very lightweight it doesn't have like an extreme scent and it doesn't feel like very sticky on the skin um which i'm not a big fan of i don't like my skin to feel sticky after i've done my skincare which i've used some serums that have done that the last serum that i did use i'm actually out of i have a mini one of it but it's really small you're not gonna be able to see it and it's the Forsali unicorn essence one the one in the purple bottle um and i really love that one i used that one throughout the entire year till the bottle was empty i like down to the dropper didn't even have any re like residue of the serum because i use it so much this next product was this next product was something that i didn't know i don't even think this brand makes a lot of things but it makes this and it's called glassy by touch and soul it's basically a moisturizer it's called the glassy skin balm just comes in this jar like this and it's a super thick moisturizer like when i say it's super thick it's extremely thick and my skin's dry so in the winter time it get like my skin gets dried up very easy so i need a very thick balm for my skin and this really just did it for me i got this in my one of the boxycharm boxes as well and i usually use the drunk elephant moisturizer the one in, with the green jar um but it's not as thick as this it's a cream as well but it's a little bit more lightweight and it works however this works a lot better for as dry as my skin was so i really did love this i looked up this brand and they don't have a lot of products in their collection maybe like four or five things and this is like the only skincare thing so it kind of threw me off but i think when i'm whenever i'm through with this dry i'm gonna buy it again hopefully touch and soul comes out with some more skincare products that i can try out because this was a really big hit for me and then the last thing that i've been loving is my jade roller I feel like everyone knows what a jade roller is. Everyone's talking about jade rollers. I got mine again in a five foot fun box, which as if you follow me on Instagram, you guys know I love my subscription boxes. Those are the only two that I have is BoxyCharm and FabFit. Um, but I got a jade roller. I didn't want to buy one. My And my FabFit one fun box ended up sending me one based on whatever season we were in. I think it was like summer. I can't remember right now. It was a really, I've had it for a long time. I've had it, I want to say since the beginning of last year. So my jade roller it's pretty self-explanatory you do your skincare you put your serums on jade roll and then you moisturize right boom so moving on to the next category the next category is going to be beauty obviously i'm going to start with face products so the first i kind of forgot to move it but the first foundation that i've actually been loving is the il il maquillage foundation the bottle looks a little bit dark um however let me move up a little bit I feel like I'm a little bit far away from you guys but this foundation i try i did the try it for free thing on um the website honestly i don't know why i did that to myself because i'm really bad at remembering to cancel things so you were supposed to try it out for free and if you didn't like it send it back and that was my plan and your girl didn't even remember to try it out within the 14 days and then I got charged for it, ended up keeping it. And I was like, well, it's mine now. Let's try it out. And it actually is a really good foundation. Um, It's called Woke Up Like This. I don't, I can't tell you what the finish is. I want to say it's like, it's not matte, but it's not glow. It's kind of like a, a satiny finish. It looks really well on the foundation. They, I don't know how they do it, but they match you really, really well. And I can't say enough things about this foundation. It's just it was it was a really good foundation for what it cost. Um, it cost the same amount as of other foundations I had. It cost forty four dollars, and my Marc Jacobs foundation that you guys know I love a lot, which I don't have anymore, um, and I think it's discontinued was way more. So if you're looking for a good foundation to try, this is a really good one. Um, but you guys know that this year was a year of Fenty for me. I talked about Fenty and Fenty makeup the entire year. My matte foundation, I honestly, I can't tell you where it is right now. I want to say the bottle is empty. But then she released the hydrating foundation and I have been killing her. My tubes almost like, is like squeezed down. I can't find the cap. You guys know that I've been loving my Fenty Glow. This one, however, the hydrating longwear, like I said, my skin is dry. And I don't predominantly get very oily when it comes to my skin, like when I'm wearing makeup, at least not for a long period of time, like once the makeup's been sitting on my skin, obviously, but I get very oily with her. So I just, and I'm not really good at using a matte primer. I've been using the milk. Oh my God, I didn't bring her in this video, but I don't I actually don't know where she is. She's in a purse, but 
I still really love this foundation. I will say that this color though matched me a lot better than the first launch. The first one oxidizes on me very heavily and I have to let it sit and then go back and rework it. But this one matches me to a T the minute that I put it on. Um, I'm in the shade 445 and I can't say enough. I've used this literally half the year and I used the other one the other half of the year. So you guys know that this has been have my these have been my go-to foundations. Um, next, because after foundation is concealer. I have two favorite concealers. I feel like this one I've talked about a thousand times on this channel, but this is the Sephora Bright Future something concealer. I've used it so much that the tube is written off. I have maybe six of these laying around, but I love this concealer. It is my go-to. It literally goes on and blends seamlessly. This is in the shade Dolce de Leche. I'm not sure because when I go into Sephora, sometimes I just grab one. I either grab Dolce de Leche, which is 15 or number 16 because they kind of look alike and I can never remember the name that I want of the one I have at home, which I should probably remember it. But either way, both of those shades kind of look really well on, blend really well on me because they match my undertones. They blend out very easily. It's thick, but it's thin and it blends really nicely. It's a great concealer and it's for the price, it's only $14. And obviously my Fenty concealer has been a favorite um she is very matte though so I use her with the hydrating foundation versus the normal pro filter foundation because she dries down under my eyes very very tightly and I use her very sparingly so I'll put another concealer on first and then highlight with this one just because she's extremely matte um with this concealer i'm in the shade 390 i do sometimes carve out my brows with her because of the shade but carving out my brows with this matte concealer doesn't always go so well so i have to it's really hit or miss but the concealer itself is still really really great like i do really really love it so if you haven't tried it go ahead and try that out and the last makeup product that i'm going to be showing you guys is i have the matte stick set i have two I have Espresso and Truffle. Truffle I use as kind of like a stick foundation for like spot treating. And Espresso is the one that I use to contour. And then I have a highlighting one. But I use Espresso the most obviously because I contour. Um, and this has been great. You guys know I've been a powder contour girl for a really long time. I always use my Black Radiance powder. I still absolutely love that. That's still my go-to when I'm not doing full-on glam. But this has been... A really good addition to my makeup collection a really good addition to my makeup routine because sometimes i want that extra and this blends so seamlessly the color is perfect um this i just this was a good addition and i love that they kind of go together hand in hand like the name magnetized together and it's easy for travel i kind of like know where it is and go so i really do i really did love this this year and then I have two tools. I didn't really have any brushes in this video because I'm, I don't use brushes that often anymore unless I'm doing eyeshadow. But I have two sponges. And I know that you guys are probably looking at me like crazy because I was the beauty blender lady. Like I had beauty blenders. I still have a few sitting back there in a bowl that um, I haven't thrown out. I also have the Fenty sponge. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I don't like this. I'm not sure why. I just, maybe I, I need to give it another try. It's dirty right now because I used it and I haven't washed it since I've used it. But I've tried it, I want to say twice, and I just didn't love the finish. I feel like my makeup came out very, very streaky. Um, and everyone else loves that sponge. So I feel like maybe I'm using it wrong. Maybe I'm using it too wet. Maybe I'm not using it wet enough. But I'm going to give it another try because she wasn't cheap either. But if you love a beauty blender, this sponge that I'm about to talk about is amazing if you guys know i do not like the real technique sponge at all that was the first sponge that i've ever tried using and i absolutely dislike that sponge it just does not work for me and again it's one of those things that everybody loves but this right here especially for the price may give beauty blender a run for their money this is the elf sponge and it's shaped obviously like the real techniques one and elf has made a few other sponges in different shapes or whatever this one however is my absolute favorite it gets really big it's really squishy it blends seamlessly i tried it for the first time which was a risk i tried it for the first time when i went on vacation to miami if you guys follow me on instagram you see my pictures from miami you saw that i was beat like i was beat and I did all of my makeup with this sponge. So if you haven't tried the e.l.f. sponge yet, run out and try it. It's literally only $5. 
like for five dollars this is a fantastic sponge like i haven't bought a beauty blender since because i've been buying these that speaks a lot the next sponge that i've been using i really like this sponge um until i tried the elf one i still really do like it i use it all the time this is the sonia kashuk marble sponge um it isn't as squishy it gets huge though like it gets about this big when wet and it blends really nicely to me if you're a stickler for like sponges and you don't like them too stiff you don't like the you know you may not like this however if you're like a one two you like to do your makeup really fast kind of girl this is great for you because it gets really big it covers a lot of ground and it washes out really easily this was a little bit more pricey though so i wouldn't i would say if you're trying to get an inexpensive sponge something less than beauty blender i would try the elf one over this one um i tried this one first this one i want to say was like 12 dollars but it is still a really good spot. I think I use this one. I've been using this one every day because I haven't washed the e.l.f. one yet. And this was a good sponge as well. My last two face products is going to be my mascara. Now, this is an OG mascara on YouTube. I want to say I didn't try it until last year. And it's the MAC Extended Play Giga Back Lash. And has a really small wand i'm sure you guys know it i actually got this with the intention that i needed it to do my bottom lashes because when i went on vacation i had false lashes on and you know you gotta get your bottom lashes done but when i got back and i took my lashes off i tried this on my top lashes and it was it it was really good like it it's exactly what everyone said it did it extended it you know i didn't have a clumpy lash i actually don't mind my lashes being clumpy because i have really full lashes but they're short and these made my lashes look like i had falsies on so i don't know what this wand does but this was a great mascara it is pretty pricey and i'm pretty sure i need to throw this one out because i've had it for a while but it's still kicking and i haven't used it a lot because i don't wear makeup as often as i would love because i'm just lazy so i'm not throwing it out Call the makeup police if you want. And then obviously, it come, when it comes to brows, my favorite has been the Anastasia Dip Brow. I've used this in absolutely every single video that I've done on my channel. You guys see me use it all the time. I also have the brush, you know, that I love that as well. Like, I don't have to say anything about it because if I didn't love it, I wouldn't have used it in all the videos that I filmed this year. Point blank, period. Now, moving on to lip products. I have a problem when it comes to lippies. And if you guys have been watching me for a while, you guys know that I've been really into lipsticks for a long time. And I always said that I wasn't really into glosses. Well, this year had changed me. So I have three glosses, one lip liner and a lip balm that I really love. So the lip, starting with the lip balm, it's it's the Fenty lip balm. Like y'all should have known that, right? It's the Fenty Pro Kiss Lip Luscious Lip Balm. I'm going to put some on right now because why not? has a wand and that's just it it's a lip balm it's really hydrating it's lightweight i like that it has a wand um and it's fenty i feel like that's the, really the only reason i picked it up and it was really surprising it's not long lasting though so you do have to reapply pretty frequently but when you put it on you do feel it like it does feel really nice on the lips it does feel like it hydrates beyond the surface um and within like the next six hours or something you probably have to put back on but that's just you know with any lip balm the next thing that i've really been loving which is an oldie but a goodie i used to use this a lot when i was in high school and this is the co bigelow which is by bed ba which is by bath and body works and it's the mentha lip shine how many people used to go used to buy lip glosses from bath, bath and body works let's raise our hands i used to go and buy the five for five or the six for five or whatever it is and this this right here it's a it's really a good everyday lip balm for in your purse because it's mentholated and it smells like mint when you put it on it like it tingles and i'll just put the balm on but you know it's like putting on like it's it's a lip gloss a lip shine but it's good for your lips and literally it does not leave my purse literally when i look in my purse and i look at all the lip glosses that are in there i'm like where's the green one i'm like digging through looking for this one because it literally gives you this absolute fantastic shine but it's hydrating it's repairing it's doing a million things right the next one is going to be by glossier and glossier was a brand that i discovered in 2019 and i don't have a crazy ton of products from them but this lip gloss 
is amazing it's just a regular clear transparent lip gloss again another lip gloss that's good for in your purse it's also great i love to use it like on top of a lipstick um i'll do my brown lip liner nude lipstick and then gloss and that is a really good one because the i don't know this wand does not pick up any color from your lipstick and i don't know if you guys have done that where you put like lipstick on and then put on a clear gloss and now your brush is kind of tainted by the lipstick so now the gloss is that color and then every lip every lipstick that you use kind of ends up in the gloss this brush somehow does not do that like i don't know if it's just me if it's the way that i put my lipstick on but for the amount of time that i've had it like it has not picked up any color from any lipstick it's just still that clear transparent pink color from the gloss which is why it's always the perfect topper to any lipstick combination that i use um it was pretty inexpensive as well i think it, i wanted it was like 10 or 12 dollars which is average for a designer which is pretty good for a named brand makeup product um and i've had this for a good chunk of time again i don't use it every day but it is a really good everyday lip gloss like if you're just doing fresh skin eyebrows lashes highlight no like makeup and gloss this is a really good product to use and then the last lip gloss is going to be one from the beauty supply store which is another one that i love to keep in my purse these are all things that i like to keep in my purse but i that i can also use when i'm going out and this is just the vita lip by broadway coconut oil lip gloss i'm sure if you go to the beauty supply store you see them it's a great one to keep in your purse it's like for the girl that likes to wear lip gloss every day but she doesn't want to use her really good lip glosses this one is one to just throw in your purse because it only costs a dollar and it gives you a great shine it's kind of that old school glossy glossy lip shine that everyone always wants but you don't have the perfect gloss like none of the high-end glosses kind of do it but none of the cheaper glosses does it this is it this is that <coughs> lip gloss look that juicy lip glip look and it has coconut oil in it which it provides a little bit of hydration it lasts all day it's not sticky and it literally says hydration hydrates lips oxid moisture shines without stickiness it literally exactly what it says in the tube is exactly what it does it's fantastic I, growing up, swore up and down that I would never, ever, ever use lip liner. Like, as a kid, when I saw that dust wearing lip liner, I'm like, oh, that's so old. Like, people wear lip liner with lipstick. I also swore that I would never wear lipstick, and we know that that's a lie. But getting into lipstick, I have maybe four of these lip liners. One, two, three, five. Five of these lip liners because I cannot live without them. And I throw them in a purse, and then I forget what purse it's in, which, which lipstick combo, so then I need another one, so I run to MAC and get another one. But this is the MAC Chestnut Lip Liner. Literally, I use this with everything. I use this with every single lipstick combo. I put this on sometimes, blend it in, and just put lip gloss on. This lip liner is my go-to, okay? I have four of them. I literally found one in the purse that I was using for weeks now. Didn't realize that it was in here just to grab the, the lip glosses out of. I love this lip liner. I have a few other lip liners from MAC that I don't use as often. Like I bought other lip liners because my winner was this crave where you needed the Rebel lip, the Rebel lipstick with the, darn it, I can't remember the name now. Another chestnut. I think these two. Well, I have She Trick, which I got to go with a lip gloss. And then I have Half Red, which is like a brown, but it's supposed to be with a red. I have another one that was supposed to go. I have another chestnut here that's broken. I, You know, when everyone was doing that whole lipstick and lip liner matching thing, like Ruby Woo had a matching lip liner. Rebel had a matching lip liner, that whole thing. I had a few lip liners then. And I just kind of, they kind of went with the wind. I kind of got rid of them. I stopped using them. But Chestnut is a lip liner that I think it's a staple for me. I wouldn't, I don't think I can use any other. Literally, I'm holding two in my hand and I have two more over there. And I, there's another one. There was another one in my purse. Like, I have a problem. Um, but if you haven't used Chestnut lip liner, if you're looking for the absolute perfect brown lip liner and you're my skin tone, Chestnut is it. I just, oh my God, this is a brand new one. I didn't know. Oh my God. Because I don't have a sharpener, guys. So I've been using them on the stubs. And then I just opened this one and it's brand spanking new. I'm using it today. I'm going to baby shower today and I'm using it today. That's it. Get chestnut lip liner. It'll change your life. So I have two fragrances um, that I've been loving this year. Um, I have a, a pretty good fragrance collection now. Um, I wasn't always a fragrance girl. My best friend, um, she is really into fragrances 
And maybe I can convince her to do a fragrance video on her channel because she just started a YouTube channel. If you don't follow her, you don't know who my best friend is. Her name is Shanae Lyons. I'm going to link her YouTube channel down below. Go support. Um, but she got me into fragrances because she's always been really into fragrance. And a few, she bought me my Prada Mew Mew perfume, which is up on my perfume shelf up there, um, which I really do love. But I have these two that I've been wearing more frequently. This one is my going out perfume don't touch when you come to my house and you need to buy perfume don't touch it i will bite your fingers off because so this one is the ysl black opium i'm sure everyone knows about black opium my sister bought this for me as a birthday gift and i use this very sparingly like i have a burberry brit i have victor noir flower bomb i have chanel number no. five i have prada Mew Mew. i have uh, ariana grande fragrance which actually smells really really good and i have one more perfume up there that i can't really see but i can't tell you what name it is but so i have other like nicer perfumes this but this right here this if you smelled ysl black opium you would know that this is a perfume honey and i do not use this sparingly okay literally it lingers the entire you just smell rich and like fantastic i just can't put my finger on it but if you haven't tried it go try it out the next one i actually got this in a box i want to say and it came in a rollerball i really do love rollerball perfumes because it's good to throw in the purse and this smells really great this is the Beautiful Belle Estee Lauder. I don't know how to explain this, but to me, it smells very mature. It's a beautiful scent. It's kind of subtle. It's really good for every day, like for going to work and stuff. And I like that it's a rollerball that I could just put it on. Um, it's very grown up. Like it's a very grown up, a grown woman perfume. Again, it's by Estee Lauder. It's called Beautiful Belle. Once this is done, because this is a pretty big bottle that I got. Um, well, not a pretty big bottle, but it's a pretty good size, like for a sample. I want to say and it's rollerball I think I'll actually buy the full size of this I just haven't gotten around to it because I've used this quite a bit I use this almost every day and look at how much I've used it it looks like I've never done it used it so um this is something that I uh, it was like surprising to me because I didn't think that I would like an Estee Lauder perfume because to me Estee Lauder is like an old people type thing I'm so sorry old people but you know Estee Lauder sounds like it's for you but this was really really nice if you ever get a chance to go buy a Macy's a Bloomingdale's Nordstrom a Sephora whatever walk in there and see if you can find this perfume again it's beautiful Belle B-E-L-L-E -L -L -E, and just smell it and let me know what you guys think moving on I'm gonna do my last few favorites which are food favorites and it's only three of them and it's some things that I kind of discovered I've stick to my lane a lot this year. I tried a lot of things this year, but these are things that I kind of keep in my house on a regular basis now. Um, so I feel like I should think of them as a phrase because I'm not afraid to try new things. But if I, f I try something new and I'm like constantly rebuying it, I feel like, okay, it's obviously a favorite. So the first thing is going to be a drink and it's in a really huge bottle and it's going to show how Caribbean I am. But my boyfriend actually picked this up one day. We He went with me to the grocery store and instead of ginger ale he got this dng genuine jamaican ginger beer and this it's like ginger ale but 10 times better because it tastes like absolute complete ginger like this is like it's freshly made out of ginger it tastes way better than ginger ale and if you're drinking gin like it's really good like if you haven't eaten on there and you need to break the gas before you eat it's really good for that obviously it's completely done in the last like three weeks i want to say we've gone through like a few of them and he's like oh I don't drink out my ginger beer and i'm like you don't have any you don't own anything here this is mine so we buy them like buy the two bottles now we have like i don't want to say i have two in the fridge but we pick them up like when we have a he takes me to the grocery store we pick them up like two at a time um and yes i have like a little bit left in this one i want to think it's probably flat though so we're gonna put this away because i opened the new one in the fridge but if you've never tried and it's really inexpensive it's like a dollar 79 it's actually cheaper to buy this than it is to buy ginger ale in the normal size bottle so i even like fill up a cup like my beauty my blender bottle and take it to me with work to work when i like pack my lunch and that's my beverage for the day so if you've never tried it go out and try it it's really really good the next two things kind of go hand in hand but not necessarily because they're both breakfast items but this is the 
this one actually is the crescents i don't make them as crescents though um but it's the it's the biscuits i use them as biscuits i usually buy the biscuits but they didn't have any more biscuits and the crescents were on sale and instead of like making them into croissants or croissants it's really called croissants i don't know why i said crescents but croissants i kind of just ball them up and make them into biscuits but the flavor that i've been really loving is the honey butter i've i always had biscuits my mom always had biscuits in the house but she always bought original um or butter but the honey butter mm, it's like the hawaiian rolls but 10 times better because it's not that weird sweet aftertaste it's like this really good aftertaste this buttery honey taste so i if you've never tried the honey butter version of the biscuits or the croissants or whatever i suggest you really really try because they're super good i actually made them today for breakfast and i bought them made them into little balls and they formed into biscuits like regular slice them in half with some butter really really good i also slice them in half and use them with my next favorites which is going to be strawberry cream cheese now guys a lot of people don't know about strawberry cream cheese and i found out about strawberry cream cheese from dunkin donuts i usually get like a plain bagel with strawberry cream cheese from them but you can buy it in the supermarket and actually i after having it like at home this cream cheese is a lot better than the one that dunkin donuts serves the one at dunkin donuts is extremely sweet this one is i want to say this one is completely empty just like a smidge left it's like a lighter it's lightweight it's not as thick it's nowhere near sweet it actually tastes like there's strawberries in here and it's so good on a bagel on a croissant absolutely amazing it's a great it's uh, like i like red plain cream cheese as well but the strawberry cream cheese really elevates breakfast to me um and it doesn't cost you anything different from regular cream cheese you know what i'm saying like it's the same price if so if you've never tried it i want to say go ahead and try it out if you like strawberries and if you like cream cheese i think you would really really like this hmm i wonder if you could make strawberry cream cheese cheesecake because mm. you know how they make cheesecake out of cream cheese i wonder if you can make cheesecake out of this stay tuned maybe we'll do that maybe we'll try that out over here but with all of that being said that is all of my favorites i know that this video is probably going to be pretty long but it's a favorites video and i'm sitting here talking so you're gonna live with it but i hope that you guys enjoyed this video i hope the lighting was a little bit too off i haven't quite managed the lighting in my new place yet but you know you guys got the gist of it um be sure to stay tuned for a lot more happening on my channel there's gonna be a lot of fun things going on oh pause so i'm wearing my bb diverse shirt and it's really crazy to me because i'm not sure if you guys know but i started a brand called bb diverse which is supposed to be for black women and black men um it's a unisex brand and it's supposed to be called a bb diverse stands for black beauty is diverse and it's supposed to be a brand that brings that brings awareness to the fact that black is beautiful in all shades and in colors and spectrums so i'm gonna show you guys my shirt now so this is just what it looks like it says bb diverse and it's a woman and a man and they're transitioning shades it's really funny because earlier today while i was at work um my best friend actually posted a video on her youtube channel and um she was wearing the shirt and i was like wow she beat me to it because i was planning on filming when i got home wearing my shirt as well but who cares right like i am so grateful that she was she did that um i'm really thankful for that and if you guys again if you don't follow her on youtube as of yet go ahead over there and subscribe i'm gonna leave her um youtube channel again down in the below her name is shanae lyons she's a beautiful girl um her channel is really great she has done some a lot of makeup videos um she has done some millennial talks um you know she's she's new to the youtube community so go ahead and show a lot of support she has a lot of great things in store for you guys and i want you guys to all experience that so with that being said again i hope you guys really enjoyed this video see you guys in my next one make sure to thumbs up if you really enjoyed it leave any comments on what you would like to see down below and subscribe you guys are already here you watched this video it's damn near three hours long kidding but if you sat here and watched this go ahead and watch another one i'll link it right here for you so i'm gonna at you bye